The Russian 20th Motor Rifle Division is conducting a major offensive against Ukrainian positions in Donetsk Oblast, despite suffering significant vehicle losses, according to Forbes. The situation in the Pokrovsk direction of the front in Ukraine is increasingly precarious as Russian forces intensify their offensive operations. As of early October 2024, Russian troops are reported to be within 5 to 7 kilometers of Pokrovsk, a crucial logistical hub for Ukrainian forces. Ukrainian forces have been engaged in counter-battery fire and are attempting to hold critical positions to prevent further Russian encroachment. Ukrainian 79th Air Assault Brigade, numbering approximately 2,000 personnel, faces pressure from the larger Russian division estimated at 10,000 troops in what appears to be a strategic push to encircle Kurokov, Donetsk Oblast. According to Ukrainian drone operator Kriegsforsha, the situation has become close to critical for the defending forces, Forbes reports. However, Ukrainian forces have destroyed numerous Russian vehicles, including modern BMP-3s and older BMP-2s and MTLBs. Russian losses reached 206 vehicles in a single day, compared to 49 Ukrainian vehicles lost. The Ukrainian military faces additional challenges with its forces, divided between the Donetsk front and a 270-mile salient in Russia's Kursk Oblast. Kriegsforscher questions this strategic allocation of resources, stating, while we lose so much ground in the Donetsk area, I am asking myself, what am I doing in the Kursk area? The Ukrainian Defense Ministry is working to establish new brigades to reinforce the front line. However, these units are still in training, and equipment shortages remain a significant challenge for newly formed units. The situation in the Pokrovsk direction remains tough. At the end of October, Russian forces began assault operations, mobilizing large reserves toward the town of Selidov. Russian forces are shelling with various calibers of artillery, actively using electronic warfare systems and attempting to employ armored vehicles. In the Pokrovsk direction, Russian forces are employing large numbers of personnel and frequently using mass infantry assault tactics. Pokrovsk is strategically important and offers logistical advantages. Voters started arriving at polling stations in New York early on Tuesday to decide whether to send Donald Trump back to the White House or elevate Kamala Harris to the Oval Office. One station was set up at Brooklyn Museum for the U.S. election vote. Other voting locations also opened across the nation on Tuesday morning as voters faced a stark choice between two candidates who have offered drastically different temperaments and visions for the world's largest economy and dominant military power. Harris, the Democratic vice president, stands to be the first female president if elected. She has promised to work across the aisle to tackle economic worries and other issues without radically departing from the course set by President Joe Biden. Trump, the Republican former president, has vowed to replace thousands of federal workers with loyalists, impose sweeping tariffs on allies and foes alike, and stage the largest deportation operation in U.S. history. Three Chinese astronauts returned to Earth on Monday after a six-month stay on China's Tiangong space station. 
a parachute slowed their capsule's nighttime descent to a remote landing area in China's Inner Mongolia region. The Shenzhou 18 crew emerged after touching down at 1.24 a.m. local time. A Chinese national flag stuck in the ground near the capsule flapped in the wind. The Tiangong space station, which was completed two years ago, is part of China's efforts to be a global leader in space exploration. In recent years, the country's space program has brought back rocks from the moon and landed a rover on Mars. It aims to put a person on the moon by 2030, which would make it the second nation after the United States to do so. The space station astronauts returned after welcoming a replacement three-person crew last week for the latest six-month mission. The new crew will conduct experiments, carry out spacewalks and install equipment to protect the station from space debris. A space agency official said in April that Tiangong has maneuvered several times to avoid debris and had partially lost power when the solar wing's power cables were hit by debris, according to a report from the official Xinhua News Agency. China is among the countries that have created space debris, including the reported breakup of a rocket stage in August during the launch of the first 18 satellites for a planned communications network similar to Starlink. Tiangong, which means heavenly palace, is in orbit around the Earth. Only Chinese astronauts have gone to the space station so far, but a space agency spokesperson said last week that China is in discussions to select and train astronauts from other nations to join the missions, Xinhua reported. Astronauts from several nations have traveled to the International Space Station, but China is blocked from that program mainly because of U.S. concerns over the military's involvement in China's space program.